what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I am going to show you how to null out your modded Xbox hard drive keys and I will also show you how to back up your Xbox EPRON now this is very important to do when you're doing the soft mod you will get a message to back it up so this is a follow-up video from my previous um, Xbox modding video the link for that will be in the description. Now the reason for nulling out the Xbox hard drive key is that every Xbox hard drive have a special key that is assigned to the Xbox hard drive and the motherboard. So let's say a few months from now if your Xbox hard drive dies and you want to replace it with a new hard drive you will need the EPRON to unlock that hard drive for your motherboard so by doing this it will turn the Xbox hard drive keys into all zero so all the key numbers will be in zeros alright so this is very important to do and it's very important to back up your EPRON alright so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing you want to do guys is make sure that you plug an Ethernet cable in the back of your Xbox and right here you can see that I have an IP address for my Xbox right here so what we're gonna do from here we're gonna make a backup of the EPRON first and then we're gonna go and null the keys after and then make another backup okay I like to do it this way to keep two backups just in case alright so make sure that you plug your Ethernet cable in and you will see um, your IP address right here so now what you want to do is go over back to your computer and you want to open up FileZilla here and you want to type your Xbox IP address in here so mine is 192.168.1.787 right here you want to type Xbox that's the username password you want to type Xbox and that's it now press quick connect and right here you will see all the drives um, in your Xbox right so you want to go to the one that says E right here E and right here you will see backups if you enter it you will see E brown so just go back up so you want to back up this one right here the one that says backup so on your computer go ahead and save it anywhere you want to save it okay you know what I'm just gonna save it here so I'm gonna select this one here and I am going to create a new folder and I'm gonna call this one um, Xbox backups okay so that's what I'm gonna call it there so go back over to your FileZilla and then make sure that you enter your backup folder so go to your FileZilla and just drag the backup right there so just give it time and there you go so now we have our backup right here our EPRON backup our first backup with everything that we have so now I'm just going to call this one um just going to call this one backup one. Okay? I'm just, I'm going to call it OG backup. And that's it. Now what we're going to do is go back over to the Xbox and let's go ahead and um, null our key and then make another backup so right here I'm using the original modded skin if you don't like this skin you can easily go to system go down to skins right here you can choose the top one this one will give you something like the original um, Xbox skin in some ways so if you press A press B you will see that it kinda looks like the original in some ways so use whatever skin you are more um, comfortable using okay so now just press B and go out 
go all the way up to where it says applications press A and you will see NK patcher settings press A when you get to this page right here go down to where it says e prawn right here press a go down to where it says 2.1 advanced features press a right here go down to 2.1.1 hard drive press a go down to where it says null key press a and this will explain to you that um, this process will unlock your hard drive zero the EEPRON key and then relock the hard drive to the new key. Note, this is a foolproof process, but I cannot account for hardware faults or failure. So proceed at your own risk. So just go ahead and uh, press yes. So basically it's gonna unlock the your hard drive and it's gonna turn all the keys in into zero. So all the all the numbers are gonna turn to zeros, okay? And then it's gonna relock it back to your Xbox. So press A, and right here you will see the master password will be set to um, Team Assembly. So this is the master password. Um, make sure that you write it down afterwards or something, okay? So now go ahead and press OK. Okay guys, so after all that is done, you should have your keys null out to all zeros. So what we can do from right here now is go ahead and make another backup of our EEPRON. So right down at the bottom, it shows how to exit. It says left trigger, right trigger, back on, and the black button. So this will exit that screen right there and bring you back out here, all right? So now what we're gonna do is go back over to the computer and let's press let's right click here and refresh all right so now we're going to go ahead and um, make another backup of the backup folder right here okay so just click on it and drag it over here and that's it so give it time and there you go okay so right here we have our original backup the first backup that we made so there it is. I'm not going to open the text file because it has my hard drive keys in it. So if I go back out and go to the patch backup now, go inside here, we now have the original EEPRON bin again. But like I said, I like making two backups just in case. All right. So here we have the text file. And as you all can see now, right here, we have the Xbox hard drive keys and it's all zero okay so that's how easy it is guys to null your Xbox hard drive keys and also how to back up your EEPRON on your computer so what I would like to do is just rename this one and I'm just gonna call this one um, null okay just to make sure that um, I understand it a lot better all right, so this one is my null key. This one right here is the original backup. All right, so that's it, guys. That's how easy it is to null out the key and also back up your Xbox EEPROM, all right? So if you like the video, please give it a like, share the video around, and also you guys can subscribe for more video to come. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.